Today, we're going to unravel the mysteries of two common medical imaging techniques, x-rays and ultrasounds. Hello everyone, this is MedScience Simplified. I'm Dr. Zeki. I am a board certified and actively practicing radiologist. Whether you're here out of curiosity or preparing for an upcoming appointment, I'll make sure you leave here with a clear understanding of both x-rays and ultrasounds. So let's dive right in. First up, X-rays, a century-old technology that's become the cornerstone of medical diagnosis. But what exactly is an X-ray? Well, in simple terms, it's a form of electromagnetic radiation. Yes, that sounds kind of complex, right? But it's similar to the light that you see every day, just at a different wavelength that's invisible to the naked eye, which makes it super powerful. They can go through your body and show us what's inside of your body. When these x-rays pass through your body, they are absorbed differently by various tissues and organs based on the density of this tissue and organs. Bones, for instance, are very dense, right? So it absorbs a lot more x-rays and appears white on imaging, while soft tissues, which are less dense than bone, absorb less and look more gray and not as clear as bones do. This contrast helps us identify fractures, infection, or even foreign objects inside of you. Moving on to ultrasounds, a completely different imaging exam. Unlike x-rays, ultrasounds do not use radiation. Instead, they rely on sound waves. Yes, you heard that right, sound waves. These are high frequency sounds, basically a type of sound your ears can detect or hear. The cool part, this ultrasound probe send sound waves into your body which then bounce back or echo from tissues inside of your body. These echoes are then captured and transformed into real-time images on a monitor, allowing us to see the structures and movements of your body's internal organs. It's particularly great for examining soft tissues and blood flow, making it a go-to exam for obstetrics. You know, looking at that growing baby in the womb and abdominal imaging. If you've ever had an echocardiogram, it's basically an ultrasound of your heart. So what are the main differences between x-rays and ultrasounds? The most obvious one is the technology itself. X-rays use electromagnetic radiation or special penetrating light, while ultrasound, like we've mentioned, uses sound waves. This leads to different applications. X-rays are great at viewing bones and certain diseases within the chest and abdomen, whereas ultrasound excel in evaluating soft tissues, blood vessels, and of course, developing babies during pregnancy. Another key difference is safety. X-rays, while they are generally safe, they do involve a small amount of radiation. This is why we use protective measures like lead aprons. Ultrasounds, on the other hand, use sound waves, which are considered completely safe, even for unborn babies. Conclusion and takeaways. Both x-rays and ultrasounds have their unique advantages and are chosen based on what your doctor needs to see inside your body. Remember, radiology is like a toolkit and each tool has its purpose. Your doctor, in collaboration with your radiologist, will select the best one for you based on your specific situation and your overall health. So the next time you're referred for an x-ray or an ultrasound, you know exactly what's happening and why. If you have any questions, never hesitate to ask your healthcare provider. After all, understanding is the first step towards health. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay healthy, and subscribe if you like this sort of information. If you have additional questions, please drop them in the comment box and I'll get back to you.